Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. We're going to do, um, we're going to ask Spirit today, what's next in love? Okay, always keep in mind the energy does shift and change relatively quickly. Everyone has free will. So of course these are possibilities if the energy stays on course, okay? Um, please remember to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate all of you. I appreciate you all being here. So let's see which crystal resonates with us most today. For crystal number one, we have the purple amethyst heart. Okay. For crystal number two, we have the blue labradorite heart. Okay. And then for crystal number three, we have the green aventurine heart. Okay. Okay. So choose which one resonates with you most, and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the purple amethyst heart, this will be your reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit what's next in love, okay? So we're going to start with the light seer's tarot for this crystal here. Let's see. The spirit, what's next in love? The crystal number one. Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Comment on it if you'd like as well. I love hearing from you guys. Trying to get the channel to grow. It is growing. I appreciate all of you. Let's see what we have here. We have the hanged man. Okay, so something... Um, that you're needing to change your perspective on here could be the way you're looking at something in love here a situation okay what else please oh, we have a couple here we have the two of swords okay so a choice to be made here um yeah you could be making a choice possibly here after a changed perspective something could change your mind about something here um and this could be it here someone um maybe becomes reciprocal in a situation okay so you could have been feeling um a little bit withdrawn or sad okay in your situation here and um your person that you have on your mind for this video here um they maybe started to reciprocate here so it's changing your perspective it's putting you more in that positive um, mindset here and then you know maybe you're able to make this choice because then the seven of cups came out as well okay so i feel like maybe you're making a choice in love here to look at things more positively okay so yeah this could have been like i said a little bit of sadness or being withdrawn because maybe your person wasn't um reciprocating your energy here in the connection okay and now um they are or you know even if it's just like receiving a message or you've talked to them on the phone maybe made a plan here to meet them or something of that nature here and it kind of gives you this spark of hope i'm feeling with this card here the hanged man Okay, I am seeing here that, you know, there's bright sunlight here, beams of light in the background here. So I feel like whatever um, this situation is or, you know, was, is changing a little bit here. Okay, and maybe some reciprocation coming in that's kind of making you feel good about it. Okay, so that's a good thing. All right, let's get some clarifiers out here for crystal number one. Why do we have the hanged man out here for crystal number one? Why is this hanged man out here? I am feeling, um, again, I read intuitively, so I, of course, I love the cards. <laughs> so, and they're beautiful, and the spirit helps me to, um, you know, send those messages over to you by giving me specific ones um, to make me feel this. But I feel here like it literally has, you know, made you have this spark of hope. Yes. Look at this beautiful ace of water. So this is the ace of cups. Okay. So it's really changed your perspective here. Um, someone again, coming in with some, so it could be a small gesture or um, it could be more than that as well. It could be like a meeting as well. 
I'm getting, but definitely some sort of reciprocation coming in and it's really um, making you feel good about it, okay? Why the Two of Swords? I feel like with this card here, it's been something that's been on your mind a lot here and I feel like you might have been in this mindset um, of negativity, okay? And maybe thinking you might want to walk away from this person here. You know, um, yeah, with the Two of Swords, I was getting definitely um, mixed emotion, mixed thoughts here, like going back and forth with it in your mind here. Um, about whether or not you should um, continue with this connection or, you know, with this relationship, okay? Um, yeah, it's definitely a back and forth feeling here in the mind, okay? Um, yeah, like I feel like in this change perspective, I feel um, lifts those burdens, okay? Burdens, yeah, lifts those burdens, from your mind here and makes you feel good about it okay so your thoughts shift from negativity to positivity let's see why do we have the two of swords out here please spirit why the two of swords seven of wands yeah exactly because now you're looking to move forward here okay um you're you're having more confidence in this situation. You are, um, yeah, it's really making you feel good about it, okay? It's really, whatever this is, this, it, it, and it could be something very small, okay? It could be simply them saying, you know, I care about you, I, I really do, I love you, or um, something, ju just simple, a few words, okay? But it gives you that um, that renewed sense of hope I'm feeling, okay? Wow, Whew, I got goosebumps, very good. I mean, the energies are good. Um, it, it's about shifting, okay, out of some negative thoughts into some positive thoughts here. So yeah, I feel like with this Ace of Cups as well, um, this could be, again, that it, it's an expression of love here, okay, towards a new beginning. So whatever this reciprocation is, is, um, yeah, it's an expression of love here from someone. It's reciprocation. Um, yeah, making you feel good about this choice here to maybe, um, maybe this has been going on for a while here with the Seven of Cups here and you've really pondered you know, should I stay in or, or keep my energy going towards this connection or this relationship or should I move on? I have choices here. And I feel like with this here, it's, um, you know, it's kind of giving you a glimmer of hope that you didn't um, waste your energy or time on this person, that they really do care about you. I mean, intuitively, you know as well, always follow your own intuition, okay? Always go inward and follow your own guides here. They won't steer you wrong, you know. They're leading us on paths to our highest good. Let's see, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you were single here maybe. Um, or even if you were in a relationship, I feel here that you were feeling alone, okay? So if you were in a relationship, if this is about someone you're in a relationship with and your choice is to walk away or stay, I feel like um, this has given you a new glimmer of hope that things are gonna be okay um, and that you were feeling here alone even though you weren't, okay? And if this is for someone who isn't in a relationship here, I feel like you are in that single energy. Um, you know that you have choices. You know that you're not stuck somewhere, okay? But you're really going back and forth with it in your head here because I feel like you care a lot about this person, okay? Let's see what else here. Seven of Cups, please. Seven of Cups. Why the Seven of Cups for crystal number one? Why the Seven of Cups, Jared, please? Why the Seven of Cups? So yeah, this is, um, I mean, the energy is really good, okay? The Ace of Cups, I mean, that's about, you know, strong, powerful love, a new start here. Um, you know, clean slate if you're with someone. Look at this, Eight of Cups, yeah, walk away. You were, again, you were in this, this mode of should I walk, 
okay whether you're with someone or not should i walk away from this relationship that i'm in should i walk away from this connection that i you know this person that i feel so connected to and that i love you are really um in a place of you know i feel like you may have been um you know like hermiting away really doing some inner work here really um going inward and trying to figure out um, what your next step would be and then this little bit of reciprocation comes in and gives you this new glimmer of hope this is beautiful so yeah definitely um good energies here crystal number one let's see what else please for crystal number one what's next in love please for crystal number one we're going to get some oracle messages out as well to further clarify this situation okay what's next for crystal number one in love please what's next in love for crystal number one what's next in love for crystal number one please there we go oh delight yes i got goosebumps you're gonna be very happy okay yeah this is gonna make you very happy um whoever or whatever this situation is is going to turn out okay it's going to bring you happiness and delight here beautiful what else please for crystal number one what else for crystal number one what else please for crystal number one what's next in love for crystal number one please whoops relaxation beautiful okay so yeah we have a little bit of relaxation going on this could be um with your person or i also am feeling this could be before you make this decision here you're trying to go inward you're trying to relax okay you're trying to really um look at things um clear and get a clear feeling of what you should do here so yeah and i also feel like um once the situation result wow wow okay <laughs> sorry those two came out um once you get a clear um situ a clear feeling on the situation i feel like this is also you um now relaxing here and feeling okay about where you're at in this connection okay whether it be a relationship um or a um connection that you you know someone you're not with but you're connected to here and then these two popped out and wow okay so yeah manifesting miracles and surrender okay wow surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out yeah this is surrendering those thoughts okay surrendering that negativity just let it go and then you know things will start to flow okay more positive things will start to come and yeah manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become a reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance again going inward trusting that intuition like i said at the beginning of this reading Reading. please always go inward and trust yourself okay and these are beautiful cards here I actually feel the need to put these facing upward today usually I put the pretty pictures up but I, I really want those messages showing they're beautiful okay what else please for crystal number one what's next in love for crystal number one Yeah, so definitely some reflection, some inner work, okay? Yeah, so yeah, and leading to happiness and delight though, so beautiful. Making that choice whether to walk away from it or not, but I do feel with that six of pentacles out there that this person that you really love here um, is going to be reciprocal. It's going to change your perspective on it and um, maybe make you feel more, um, stable okay more stable in this connection okay let's see what else please for crystal number one what's next in love please for crystal number one what's next in love please for crystal number one please what's next in love for crystal number one There we go. I can't get the card to fall out, but there it is. 
see the bigger picture yeah okay yep so now i feel like you're really looking at the bigger picture here knowing that everything is going to be okay relaxing into the flow of the universe here okay definitely a feeling of feeling more content okay beautiful feeling more content and safe i just heard okay and safe okay so yeah you're feeling more safe to open your heart here to this person or to express love as well and i do feel like they they are either um if this is someone that you're not with here i feel like this could be an offer of love coming in like maybe an offer to again either date or you know see each other exclusively depending on where you are in your journey here or you know taking a relationship to a new level or simply just reciprocating energy as well, okay? Sharing emotions, letting you know how important you are to them, okay? And you know, you feeling like, wow, okay, I was starting to feel like maybe you didn't feel that way or, you know? And then it kind of sparks this, yeah, this like ray of hope is what I kept getting there with that hanged man, like this ray of hope. Beautiful squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, yes always believe in yourself always always follow your own intuition and believe that what you feel is right for you is okay um you know your inner guidance system will you know again you know what's right for you you'll feel it deep inside whoa that one came out quick <laughs> mystic healer healing energy flows through you yeah healing yourself from past wounds here okay this could also be your person here i feel um, yeah, healing. Okay, so yeah, this could be them as well. They could have had um, some sort of um, like, what do you call that? Um, like a fear of showing emotion, like they, they keep their emotions bottled up. Okay. Yeah, so like fearing showing you how they're feeling here. Um, afraid to tell you certain things or afraid to go deep okay and they could be healing those wounds as well okay what else please for crystal number one we have two popped out immediately there oh three beautiful okay so we have forgiveness okay so you might have to forgive the past here or you know like maybe um Again, just forgiving them for maybe not being so forthcoming with their feelings, okay? Just kind of trying to um, empathize with them and realize that sometimes it is hard to share how we're feeling with other people. And maybe, you know, something happens that opens them up to this and they're able to. In that case here, you just want to, you know, be um, empathetic and, and forgiving of the, of the past here, okay? um truth yes i feel like with um with this new clarity here you're going to be or feel as if you are living your truth for sure okay um and success so success here in this connection so this is beautiful beautiful energy here for crystal number one today let's see what else please spirit for crystal number one what's next in love for crystal number one so this change in perspective, this um, emotions being, wow, feeling the world. Yeah, see, beautiful. Um, these emotions being um, expressed here, I feel it will lead to success here um, in this connection, okay? Because now you're both kind of on the same page, okay? Feeling the world, wow, yeah. You both feel a tremendous amount of love for one another, I feel, with this card. Okay, um, again, I do feel maybe they just haven't been showing it. E even if this is a, a situation where you're in the relationship with them, they could just, you know, never say, you know, I love you or you mean so much to me or you're important to me, okay? You could be the one always saying it to them and they kind of just like, they're blasé about it, kind of like, eh, you know, like whatever, or they say it, but it doesn't sound like they mean it or something of that nature. Okay, take what resonates, of course, and leave the rest behind. This doesn't mean that all of you are in this situation. Um, but I am picking up for some of you that that could be the case if you are in this relationship with someone okay and if this is someone that you're not with it's just that they're either afraid to come forward and share their feelings for you 
or they might have hinted here about their feelings but they're not they weren't being you were putting way more in with energy um okay like you were maybe saying things and they weren't really saying them back or something of that nature or just kind of like roundabout um avoiding okay i'm surprised the seven of swords didn't come out here for the avoidance of feelings because i am picking that up a lot here someone in this connection was definitely um holding back not being reciprocal um keeping things in okay but they do feel the world here so um i i just feel like this is maybe um saying that you know they're going to come to a point here where they're going to do this okay let's see what else please for crystal number one what's next in love please for crystal number one Ooh, loyal heart oh my goodness this is beautiful okay so so beautiful they're so loyal yeah wow so i mean yeah this is someone who cares very very deeply okay um and i also feel from these cards here that this is you as well you feel very deeply you have a lot a lot of love for this person okay you like love them no matter what i feel but you are really at this point in your life where you were um starting to again doubt that you were on the right path or something and again with this eight of cups like that walking away and then it's almost like, again, I feel um, maybe some, you know, universal uh, divine intervention here happens maybe. Okay. Um, yeah. And kind of causes like this, this little bit of a shakeup. Okay. Not a shakeup in a bad way, but like the shakeup in your person that's like, you know, you really should be like almost like giving them that little nudge they need to express. Okay. And then they do and then it makes you feel better I, I like i almost feel like you were like right on the threshold of being like i'm done okay again take what resonates leave the rest behind this won't resonate for all of you certain messages will come through for a certain people waiting yes yeah, see you've been waiting for this person here not one of my hair sorry <laughs> um you've been waiting for this person here to um reciprocate you've been waiting for change to happen here yeah wow oh and look at this the, i if i see them and it catches my eye i will pull them i usually pull you know how i pull you watch my channel i usually pull flyers or the bottom of the deck if i see them and they catch my eye and hope yes i feel like oh, look at this beautiful in the background okay those rays of hope from that from that hanged man this is definitely the energy here um, that is coming here for you crystal number one i feel something is going to spark that um that little bit of hope in you here about this connection wow beautiful i got goosebumps when i seen that one at the bottom Woo! all right let's get more okay what else please for crystal number one let's get some of these out what's next in love for crystal number one please What's next in love for crystal number one? Ooh. Ooh, we got two flyers out here. What we have, let's see. Trust and let go of control issues. Yes, okay. We already had trust out, okay. Um, so we, we know that we need to trust our own intuition here, okay. Um, also let go of control issues. So allow this situation to unfold naturally see how this surrender card here okay let go and it will all work out i'm gonna put these down here actually yeah so this is definitely um saying here to just let go of those control issues let it all you know manifest not manifest um well yeah manifest into your life naturally okay let it all flow okay it will all work out don't um yeah you gotta you gotta kind of calm the mind here okay yeah calm the mind down a little bit about it okay what else let's see for crystal number one what's next in love please for crystal number one what's next in love for crystal number one please Ooh, 
healing heart. Yeah, okay. We also had that out as well, the healing energy. Okay, so yes, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I feel like, again, this could definitely be um, your person here. Um, healing from, um, again, pat like past wounds, okay, that maybe made them afraid to express, okay? Um, and I do feel here as well with you, you're trying to heal yourself um, as well from, you know, you know, maybe overthinking or, you know, fear of abandonment, fear of being alone, something of that nature here, okay? I do feel like both of you are healing here. What else? For crystal number one, what's next in love? Be bold and make the first move. Oh, wow. Okay. I do feel here that this is um, your person. Okay. Um, I do feel like it's them who, who might be coming in. Okay. This could also be here um, just saying to you here, don't be afraid to maybe make your fears known here. Okay. Or make it known make it known that you the way you're feeling here okay so maybe you know a talk a deep talk here with your person as well but i do feel like it's them who is going to come forward in this situation again take what resonates and always follow your own intuition if you feel you need to you know speak up about it um and and then maybe they will reciprocate then you know you have to do what's right for you and what you feel is best okay what else self-love yes very important okay um both of you here should be practicing self-love okay the more you you love yourself here the more you open up to receiving love okay what else let's get a few more for this reading please for crystal number one what's next in love for crystal number one so yeah self-love healing okay um definitely taking care of your inner child here okay making yourself happy okay yeah beautiful doing what what makes you happy here what brings you joy let's see kindness counts yeah so okay every encounter here matters okay so if you're with this person of course be kind okay there's no need to be um you know hostile or anything like that even if the situation um requires a deep talk i feel like calmness and kindness will go a long way okay on both ends here okay Let's see what else for crystal number one. What's next in love for crystal number one, please? What's next in love for crystal number one? What's next in love for crystal number one, please? I do feel again, though, that this person is very loyal. You are as well. I feel like you have really... Um, stuck by this person you've always been there for them when they need you okay um, and I feel like they want to be or they they could have been as well okay but I feel like again it was some sort of a non reciprocal energy okay it could be in you know physically or it could be energetically as well okay friendliness yep okay so yes this whole kindness thing okay again be friendly don't be um harsh or anything like that about the situation it says you are able to recognize traits in common with one another in order to forge love-based connections so yeah just remember that you were probably friends first okay um yeah and and remember those times when you could talk and and the talks kind of just flowed okay Again, take that as it resonates. That could be a message for a specific person or group of you here. But I feel like some of you, you were friends with this person. And at that time, you had no problem at all talking challenges. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there could be some challenges as well. Okay. It's not all going to be, you know, life isn't, you know always happy and easy. Okay. Um, we do have, we do face challenges along the way. However, 
the challenges is what makes us strong right so don't be um don't mislead yourself into thinking that okay this situation is progressing things are going well okay we're both be, we're in this reciprocal energy we're aligned things are great and it's going to stay that way forever okay so this is the card that just says remember there will be challenges along the way okay no relationship is perfect okay so and we all learn we all learn from these challenges okay let's see what else please give me one of these or or more love messages for crystal number one here what's next in love for crystal number one or what would their person want to say to them what's next in love here for crystal number one please what's next in love What's next in love for crystal number one? Oops, there we go. Take a chance. Yeah, see? Take a chance on love is what came out here. One second. My deck is a huge mess. Okay. Um, take a chance on love. Okay. So this is saying here that, yeah, you're willing to take the, th uh, take the chances necessary for, um, you know, to move it forward to um, forgive this person here. Um, if they have been non-reciprocal in the past, I do see here, you know, this couple, they're looking up at this rainbow looking area here like a little rainbow and like the moon and the stars so i feel like again it's that ray of hope for the both of you okay and this is just saying you know take that chance on love follow your heart and follow your own intuition here beautiful when we love our lives are changed forever yeah definitely love is a very powerful healing force here let's see what what would crystal number one's person want to say to them okay what would they like to say? Fate, destiny, serendipity. Wow. Whew. Okay. This is like my number one twin flame card in the deck. Well, not number one. It's one of the number ones. There's a couple. Okay. Um, but when this one comes out, I feel like, yeah, like somebody here either feels like you're their twin flame so that you could be, this could be your twin flame we're talking about here. Um, again, only you would know that, okay, but take it as it resonates. Um, fate, destiny, serendipity makes me feel like your person here um, and you, I feel. You feel like this is um, like fated. This is the one for you, okay? This is your destiny, okay? And maybe you met through some sort of serendipitous um, event here, okay? And again, in this card, um, if you'll notice here, we have these rays of light again, okay? This ray of hope. Beautiful. What else, please? Give us a couple of more of these. This deck is available for purchase, by the way, on the um, in the description box below if you're um, interested in that, okay? Let's see, what else, please? Crystal number one. What would that person want to say? What's next in love? And what would that person like to say? Please, spirit. What would crystal number one's person want to say? Oops. I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, see, so they're... You know, they may have been a little bit aloof here or a little bit quiet and not sharing their emotions, but they want you to know here that they didn't mean for that to hurt you, okay? They really do love you and care about you a lot here. we got a couple here coming out, but <laughs> okay, I regret pushing you and our love away, okay? So this could be for some of you here that are not with this person here um, and, you know, they may be... Um, you know took a break from the connection backed up here um they could have even ghosted you here okay but they're in regret now and this could be why um and i was feeling earlier that maybe um some divine intervention here could happen which again uh yeah that could lead to a serendipitous event if this if that part of it resonates for you um, divine intervention could come in, maybe have you in the same place at the same time. Um, and then your person really, um, gets that little push they need to, 
you know, come forward and maybe apologize or, you know, tell you what they're feeling here, express emotions. And then this one says, I miss you so much. It hurts. Yeah. So, and I feel, um, a lot of people, um, feel like you know you can't be in a relationship and miss the person yes you actually can okay you can be laying next to someone in the same bed and miss them okay um, a lot of people misconstrue this as you know they're not with this person this could again i read intuitively so someone out there in a relationship may have needed to hear this message um they they could be laying right beside you and missing you terribly um or they could be you know this could also be for people who are not with this person and they're missing them terribly but yeah it's all about that energy right so i mean if they're if you're in a relationship with someone and there's just been no physical touch no contact no um loving words exchanged here um yes we can miss someone who is right next to us okay miss how they were miss how things were all right so wow well good luck with this one crystal number one i hope this reading was helpful for you please give it a like and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i greatly appreciate all of you being here have a great day and i'll see you in the next reading So if you resonated with crystal number two, the blue labradorite heart, this will be your reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit, what's next in love, okay? Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate you all being here. Leave me a comment as well. I love hearing from you guys. Let's see what we have going on. What's next in the love for crystal number two, please? What's next in love for crystal number two, please? What's next in love? Oops, thought one was falling out. Nope. What's next in love for crystal number two, please? There we go. What's next in love for crystal number two? Okay, we have these three so far. One more, please. What's next in love for crystal number... Whoa, and that one flew. Okay, so let's see what we have. Ooh, the king of pentacles. So someone here, a uh, very stable individual in your life here. Um masculine energy okay doesn't have to be male masculine is not about gender masculine feminine here is about energy um so either you or the person here that you're thinking about for this video is um very strong stable okay um could be you know a business owner uh, something of that nature okay let's see we have the nine of pentacles also yeah stable in yourself here this could be again you or your person always keep in mind the energy can be um vice versa here as well very stable um in yourself okay so feeling strong feeling confident okay and then we have the seven of cups so choice to be made here um in love okay so a uh, choice to you know maybe take a relationship to a next level or to you know make a life decision here it could be about um where you're going to live um yeah feeling like a big change coming though okay um let's see the star yeah with this beautiful beautiful star energy out here i feel like this connection has been um extremely healing for you um, and your person here as well. I feel like um, this is about, you know, wish fulfillment, um, things coming to fruition here. So yeah, some sort of a big decision. Uh, I was feeling about maybe where you're gonna live here, possibly. So this could be um, a decision on, you know, maybe you're not in the same location as your person here you could be far away long distance possibly here okay i'm picking up quite a few different things here um it could be long distance uh for some of you okay and maybe it's a coming together uh, you know a 
a meeting in the middle sort of thing okay uh, maybe choosing a location that's um close to one or the other as well so maybe if someone is a business owner let's say here um and the other person um has a job that they could you know maybe go to a new location and easily obtain a job a similar job the, the person that you know is least um able I'm getting uh, the person that is least able to uh, move locations or something might be uh, the location that you choose to make it easier on you know both of you here one of you could be giving up some sort of job yeah and maybe um, because you know that you can easily replace it here okay so let's see um, in order to move this connection forward, I feel, make a big choice about this connection. So yeah, let's see what else here. For crystal number two, what do we have going on in love? What's next in love for crystal number two? Some sort of a big choice, big decision, but it leads to happiness. It leads to, um, I mean, the star energy. This is a beautiful energy here. Um, it's about remaining hopeful as well, that everything will turn out okay here. Okay, um, and you know, it's it's about wish fulfillment. So yeah, like this change here, I feel will make you both very happy. And again, whatever this is here, it could be um, even being in a relationship and someone gets a job. Uh, I am picking up something to do with job here as well, or stability or business or something of that nature. So it could be that, you know, someone gets a job far away you both could live in the same location here okay um and then you get a job they get a job um you or them it, it could be either or here um that's maybe far away from where you are right now okay and they they're feeling like you know they want to they want okay how do i say it? they want the connect they want to keep they want to hold on to we got a few out here, but I want to, I want to finish this, this here. Cause I'm feeling they want to remain either together or they want to keep this connection alive. Okay. This big change might take them away. Okay. To a different location or something like far away distance, maybe. Okay. Um, but they're wanting, they're almost wanting like, okay, please be on the same page with me here. Please jump on board here or something of that nature. Like, you know, big discussions possibly, um, about, yeah, like this big change. I feel like it has something to do with the work. Okay. Or a job or a business or something of that nature. Okay. Um, where it might take the two of you too far away from each other or one of you would have to move in order to allow um the connection to remain together so again take it as it resonates but this is what i'm picking up very strongly today let's see what we got we got the three the three of pentacles okay yeah collaborate yeah they're collaborating with you i feel here um definitely um going over the details here with you okay yeah very very strongly i'm feeling that this is the situation here for you crystal number two um and if it's not about work it could also be about family as well like maybe someone has a relative somewhere and they need to tend to them or something of that nature but i feel like in love here this is a collaboration between the two of you to come to a common ground okay and kind of um work together to maintain both aspects of your life okay like so uh, you're both both of your lives you'd be able to maintain both if you know one of you is gonna have to i feel shift a little bit or change something here and it's not about you yourself it's about a situation i feel where you live or yeah uh, yeah it's, it's coming through pretty heavily here let's see we have the um ace of wands yeah in the passionate okay something here okay so this could definitely be something that your person or you okay keep in mind this could be either one it's it could be um something that 
one of you is extremely passionate about, okay, and an opportunity comes up that makes them have to maybe move locations or, you know, it's going to put the, rela not the relationship on the line. I don't want to say it that way because that's not how I feel. I do feel like this person really wants to keep this together, okay? So whether you're with this person and they don't want to, you know, dissolve any sort of relationship over this, they really want to just be on the same page. And if you're not with this person, I feel like you both could be in different locations already, or you could be in the same location, but one of you has to move away. Okay, take what resonates. Again, leave the rest behind, but this is what's coming through. So, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Wow, okay. And those three, these three popped out together, okay? All together. Um, and I feel like this is a big indicator from spirit here that it has to do with the tangible things in life. So the financial stability, okay, it could be that this person has gotten an offer here of some sort that is like, it's almost like definitely like one of those feelings of, I can't pass this up, okay, but I really don't want to give up on us either okay so it's like that kind of um situation and i do feel like the other person involved okay so if this is you this would be a person or vice versa i feel like the other person involved is also very stable in themselves okay but it's easier for them i feel whatever job career or business that they have or run or something of that nature it's easier for them to relocate it for some reason okay again take what resonates leave the rest behind but i am feeling very heavily for some of you out there that this is the situation here okay it definitely has to do with some sort of a work um decision yeah that and wanting to be on the same page so yeah wanting both they whoever this is your person you and your person neither of you want to give up on this situation relationship connection whatever the case may be whatever you are in your journey okay neither of you are wanting to give that up but also there is a almost like one of those opportunities that like it's like the golden like opportunity for you okay and it's and i feel here as well that one yeah okay I, I wasn't sure and yeah take it okay um i feel here that it's you you love this person so much that you would want this for them you want them to to obtain the success or the financial stability or something here okay you love them that much that you're willing to work with them here okay and yeah i mean definitely what do we have eight of pentacles look at this i wasn't going to take it because it didn't flip and it didn't fall and i heard take it so yes eight of pentacles definitely what this reading is about here it's about someone here both of you here yeah someone putting in a lot of work into something where they get an opportunity okay and it's about both of you putting in a lot of work into this connection okay both of you coming together here with the three of pentacles coming together and really brainstorming how this will work how it will be good for both of you wow big big changes here i feel like this is a very um yeah big change here but for the better i feel okay so yeah i mean even if you're like married here okay to this person and you own a home here i feel like this involves like something big like that like where you have to sell your home and buy somewhere else like you know, something big like that going on, okay? Or, you know, um, if you have like this beautiful like penthouse apartment or something that you would, that you absolutely love um, and you don't want to, you know, like sell it and move away, 
but you do because you see how much your partner deserves this, how much work they've put into it. It's a, yeah, it's almost like, and it's not a bad sacrifice, but it's like sacrificing the little things, the small things in life to fulfill your heart. Wow, this is beautiful, beautiful energy. I feel like whoever this is here, um, whether you're with this person or not, I feel like there's a deep, deep, unconditional love here, okay? Um, again, where you just want this person and you know how much they deserve happiness and success, okay? And you just really want them to be happy. Or again, vice versa. So if you're the one with the big opportunity, this is your person really just wanting you to be happy and wanting to meet you in the middle here. Wanting to, I keep getting meet in the middle. So you could be, for a lot of you or some of you out there, you could already be in, in separate locations here and meeting in the middle. Or this could just mean meeting in the middle with, um, you know, you know, if we do this and, you, you know, I move here for you, then, you know, we need to do whatever, you know, whatever other things that you desire. Okay. Like, um, trying to think of examples of that, but like, almost like, not like, um, ultimatum ish like that or anything, but like, yes, I'm willing to do this because I know this will make you extremely happy but you're going to have to, you know, help me, you know, you're going to have to help me survive while I'm looking for another job or while I'm trying to replace my income right now or something of that nature, you know? So, and of course that's like, that's a meet in the middle. Of course, it's like, of course I would do that. You know, I mean, like, obviously if this person loves you as much as I feel they do and you love them as much, you, you make those compromises, you work together and collaborate to um, make, you know, harmony here. Okay. Wow. This is, it's beautiful, beautiful energy. It is about big change though. So you might be, um, you know, expecting some sort of big change here, maybe moving locations. Like I said, um, I was picking that up very heavily here in the beginning. Let's see what we have. Born with a gift. Okay. So, yeah. So, yes. This has to do with this person here. Whatever this opportunity is here. It's something they're extremely passionate about. Okay. It is something that they have wanted to do for a very long time. It's something they're gifted in some sort of area in their life here. And they're given this opportunity to explore that option. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. What's next in love for crystal number two? This is amazing energy. Crystal number two. What's next in love? Cozy home. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cozy home. See? So I feel like, again, this does have to do with a home here of some sort. You're trying to, again, you might be releasing a home um that you really love and felt that was cozy maybe um and this could also be um just an indication that it is about you know your living situation here okay um and that you're new i feel like with this with this star card here your new location or your new home or apartment or penthouse or whatever your living situation is here i feel is you know still going to be cozy with your partner here because you have so much love you will make it work okay you'll make things um you'll personalize it here yeah personalize it okay you'll make it your own and you'll be happy. You might even be happier here in this new location. You know, you might end up in a situation where you're surrounded by other people here that maybe share your gifts or your person's gifts here. And you'll be able to um, further develop those as well. What else, please, for crystal number two? What's next in love for crystal number two? Whoa. Okay, this one. We have, beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. 
Okay, so this is saying here, if there's something about this situation or your partner here that you're not liking here, just remember that we, you know, instead of, try not to project how you feel about something onto your partner here is what I'm getting. Okay, try to um, step back and really hear them, okay? And let them speak and finish their thoughts out here in case there is some sort of, um, you know, like disagreement about any part of this situation here because you know it's not going to always be just smooth sailing like they're going to come to you and they're going to be like all right we're moving to wherever california let's just say okay and you're like okay <laughs> you know there's going to be discussions okay so i feel with that card there it's just saying try not to project your own um beliefs here on them okay um, listen carefully to what they're trying to say. Okay. Whoa. Push through any insecurities. Yes. Okay. Yep. That kind of ties into that one there and believe in your good luck. Yeah. Beautiful. So just believe that everything will work out. Okay. Um, believe that you are lucky in love and in life here. Okay. And everything will work out and yeah just push through those insecurities, any insecurities that arise here, push through them. Okay. You could be, um, Again, take it as it resonates and it could be flip-flop. So this could be if you're the one who has to replace their job, let's say, you could be feeling like insecure, like about that. Like what if we get there and I can't find a job here, okay? Or again, this could be flip-flop. So that could be your person, okay? Needing to push through those insecurities, just have faith in yourself and in your good luck here okay have faith in what life has to offer you and the possibilities that lie ahead okay big messages there okay what else please for crystal number two what's next in love here for crystal number two so i feel like this is saying here don't let your fears and insecurities hold you back okay What's next in love for crystal number two? What's next in love for crystal number two, please? Oh, there we go. We have lizard. Yeah, beautiful. Dream the world into being, okay? This is like, this, look at this star energy. It's like she's wishing on a star here, right? So yeah. Dr you, your dreams you can make them happen okay anything is possible okay you just have to believe in yourself okay and you know the world is at your disposal here just utilize your own gifts and talents here and the world you know your dreams are what you make of them okay you can make you can be anything you want to be you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish as long as you really put your mind to it and focus here okay what I'm getting there let's see what else please for crystal number two what else please for crystal number two I also feel with that dream your world into being here that this is a big dream come true for whoever this person is that this opportunity is arising for it's a huge wish or dream of theirs okay taking shelter the answers are within. Okay. Yeah. So go within and you will see, you will find the answers inward. Okay. In your, inside you, you will know, you will have a deep knowing here. Okay. About what the right thing to do is for you. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get more please for crystal number two. What's next in love please for crystal number. Wow. Okay, we have stillness and change, okay? So, yeah, stillness is about going inward here, okay? Going inward here and really, um, you know, healing yourself from past wounds, okay? Really thinking about what the possibilities are for your future, okay? Beautiful. And then we have change here as well. Lots of big change here, crystal number two. Okay, for the better, I do feel, again, I felt with that cozy home that you may even be happier in your new situation here. So um, again, open up to the possibilities of the universe here. Let that universal energy flow through you um, and let your inner guidance system always guide you here, okay? 
what else please for crystal number two what whoa birds of a feather yeah look at you two i love this oh my god you two are like attached at the hip birds of a feather flock together right okay you are so alike here i feel like um yeah like i feel like even this might even open up a huge opportunity for you as well okay and you are so like yeah you and your person i feel crystal number two i feel like you are so connected like a deep spiritual connection almost with this card okay yeah like extremely in love here extremely um yeah like attached like not attachment in a bad way i mean just like um that just connected so connected okay internally and externally connected at the heart center okay wow Whew, a lot of love here lots of love here um again and a willingness to make that partner um happy in their you know in their life give them that choice that opportunity to follow their heart and their dreams this is beautiful crystal number two what's next in love go to the sea yeah okay so yeah this is okay to the sea here sometimes i get the feeling it's like the six of swords here you're moving forward okay moving forward out of like maybe choppy waters not necessarily i don't feel any sort of like choppy waters here at all in this connection here okay i'm not feeling that at all but moving forward into something better okay and this could be divine intervention as well okay helping to move this connection along you know putting opportunities and um situations right in front of you to help you make the correct choices okay wow what else please for crystal number two this is beautiful what else i'm loving this energy very much like loyal to each other i feel too okay very loyal awareness and decisions yeah see so you you have decisions to make we've already determined that right okay so this is a big decision for both of you i feel okay and awareness you have this awareness about you okay you are very perceptive you could be very intuitive here you could also um have some you know spiritual gifts as well I feel like you are very aware of the depth of this connection, okay, and the depth of how much this this means to this person, okay? Wow, this is amazing. Okay, let's get some more here. What's next in love for crystal number two? What's next in love for crystal number two, please? next in love for crystal number two yeah like i don't feel like i don't believe in coincidences either so with that divine intervention there i'm feeling like you know nothing's a coincidence so if you're coming across something that's you know signs and synchronicities that are pointing you in this direction look at this playfulness yeah you might even um i feel here um, that this is going to spark a new, like, yeah, like a new passion and, you know, romance as romance there, recapture romance. I feel like you may have some, um, special time, I guess, with your person when you get to this new place, um, sort of, uh, enjoying the new atmosphere here and, you know, um, being playful about it, you know, enjoying it like a new place, you know, having some little romantic time together here. Beautiful. What else, please, for crystal number two? Yeah, like it's, you know, you get into a new apartment or house and, you know, you're setting things up and you're having fun with it and, you know, maybe painting and, you know, or whatever. I don't know. I just saw people painting here. So you could be like painting and like playfully put paint on the other one's face or something. And then it leads to, you know, a little bit of special time, we'll call it, I guess. Keep it PG here. Um, you know what I'm getting at here. Okay. <laughs> 
That's what I'm getting with that card there. What else, please? The dragonfly. Beautiful. What is that? Let's say the light, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Okay. Adapt and change. Yeah. You're going to adapt just fine to the situation, this new surroundings, these new um, locations or whatever it is for you. And also it's, you know, it's, it's a big change. We got change out here as well. So it is a big change. Okay. And it's okay to be, um, a little bit apprehensive about it. Of course, you know, not, you know, it's hard making big changes like that in your life. But again, this is just, um, yeah, saying that, you know, big changes on the horizon here. Crystal number two, I feel. Okay. Let's see what else, please. Crystal number two what is luck is on your side we got another card about luck here okay so yeah just i feel like you're going to be very lucky in this situation don't fear okay it's going to all work out okay we had the luck card out here as well or you know it said um luck what did it say exactly it said nope that's a push through your insecurities believe in your good luck okay so yeah um I do feel like you're extremely lucky. Um, you could be lucky in love, life, in general, good things could just come to you because you have a positive mindset. Um, you know, you, you have very high vibes here and you're bringing in the good things. Beautiful. What else, please? For crystal number two, what's next in love, please? This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I love the energy coming off this reading right now. And this is omens. Yep, I mentioned signs and synchronicities earlier. Okay, so you could have been, um, you could be seeing omens and signs and synchronicities pointing you um, in this direction. Okay, let's see what else, please. For crystal number two, what else? We got a few more here I want to pull out, please. Crystal number two what's next in love here for crystal number two Oops. that was a big mess okay challenges or positivity i'm not sure actually they both came out so i'm going to take both of them so challenges and possibility okay um uh, positivity rather i'm sorry challenges and positivity i feel like this is spirit is saying the challenges will exist, okay? You know, while you're moving, things will go wrong. You know, sometimes a piece of furniture breaks or, you know, something very near and dear to your heart. The challenges happen. However, this is spirit also saying, just remain in that state of positivity. You'll get through it, okay? So try not to let any challenges get you down here, okay? Let's see what else. We got a couple more. For crystal number two, compassion. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of compassion um, between you and this person here. Um, I feel like you are both very, very thoughtful uh, towards each other here and about each other's feelings. So you mean a lot to one another. Um, very deep, like I said, deep, powerful connection. We have follow what is it follow the golden rule and learn from your mis your, your mistakes okay so again this could be about the challenges here you could um you know have you ever been in a situation where something goes wrong and then you get extremely upset and you get aggravated and then 10 other things go wrong okay this learn your learn from your mistakes card to me is saying don't let that don't let that happen okay so if one little thing goes wrong try to rise above it and just know that it'll be okay work through it calmly okay because sometimes it's that it's that energy that we put into it okay and it causes more issues to arise okay and then follow the golden rule okay so always trying to do the right thing here i feel like both of you here are um and i just seen on the bottom of the deck stay open-minded okay um and you know how i pull i usually pull flyers or if i notice one on the bottom of the deck so this one stuck out to me um stay open-minded this is also spirit saying to just stay open to the possibilities of what this change will bring okay even through the challenges okay just remain 
hopeful and positive okay that everything will work out and then let's get some love messages out now so what would crystal number two's person like to say here let's see what's next in love what would they like to say we have two mm, the heart of the matter and be authentic yeah they're just i feel um whoever this is in this connection whether it be you or them this opportunity is an opportunity for them or you whoever that person is here to be their authentic self okay they are um very very passionate about whatever this is here um that's kind of inspiring this big change to happen this um opportunity for again job business uh you know something of that nature i feel like with this card it's saying that it's going to be there it's going to open up um and let them be their authentic self okay um and the heart of the matter it says there is more going on than meets the eye so of course here the heart of the matter is just that you know they again things happen sometimes challenges happen to make us open our eyes okay to the possibilities okay so you know something goes wrong and then you work through it and then you say oh wow like if this didn't happen then we wouldn't be in this situation that we're in right now so i feel like um it's just spirit reiterating that you know not to let challenges um make you feel like it's like a situation is wrong for you okay you know that, that i mean that's what i'm getting from that card today don't don't let it make you feel like just because something went wrong that you made the wrong choice okay this deck is available for purchase if you're interested it's listed in the description box below okay let's see what would crystal number two's person want to say to them please what would crystal number two's person want to say to them you are always in my thoughts okay beautiful yeah so they think about you a lot and they think about the situation a lot i feel as well okay um this could have been something that was deeply on their mind okay and they um they could have even been oh please be patient okay they could have even been um you know not expressing how much it meant to them in the beginning they could have been keeping it in their mind like in their thoughts like how do i how do i ask this person to give up everything that we've worked so hard for here let's say okay and again just take it as it resonates but that's what i'm getting so it's almost like they were afraid to ask you so they had a lot of thoughts about it beforehand okay and please be patient yeah so they're just asking for your patience during this transition okay yeah they're just asking um to be positive remain positive and be patient with the process okay whoo beautiful i am loving this energy crystal number two big beautiful change coming in with someone that i feel you are deeply deeply connected to here um yeah it, it's beautiful this connection and this change you know it could be a good thing here okay of course always follow your own intuition follow the signs synchronicities however you know you normally do that um and always always follow your own intuition on what to do okay all right guys i hope this was helpful for you crystal number two please remember to give it a like and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i greatly appreciate all of you being here today have a great day and i'll see you in the next reading so if you resonated with crystal number three the green venturine heart this will be your reading okay today we're asking spirit what's next in love okay what's next in love for crystal number three okay please remember to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i greatly appreciate it i appreciate you all being here let's see let's get a few out here what's next in love for crystal number three please whoa that one went flying <clears throat> what's next in love excuse me what's next in love for crystal number three what's next
Best in love for crystal number three, please. That's another one. And we have one more. So what's next in love for crystal number three, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? Ooh. Okay. That one really wanted to come out. Okay. So we have these page of swords okay i feel like right now you are i just heard pi you're being like a private detective <laughs> okay so you are paying attention very very focused on someone here paying close attention okay um yeah has to do with making a choice here okay so wanting to make a choice but trying to make an informed decision okay you're in your empress energy this is beautiful okay unconditionally loving someone here um wanting a new start okay feeling very strong secure yeah powerful okay confident okay yeah wow who you're feeling good crystal number three you're paying attention very closely to someone here though to make a choice but then we have the tower here okay so this could be i'm picking up from this card here your person here yeah yeah they could be involved here with someone yeah you're waiting for results okay let's see yep okay paying attention okay so you you're waiting for results either I, i'm picking up two things here okay um for crystal number three here someone in this connection okay and again take what resonates leave the rest behind <laughs> don't you know um take anything too literal if it doesn't apply to you um someone here i feel you could be waiting on results of a pregnancy here okay um and you're you're watching and listening carefully to doctors about this okay waiting on results was what i kept hearing but i also the big thing i'm picking that could be just for a select few of you you're just kind of you're you're happy you're confident you're you could be um maybe a pregnant or your person could be pregnant here and just um you know watching and listen carefully here to information that doctors are giving you here to make a choice about something um to do with your situation okay um you're watching your person i'm getting here though okay so you could be pregnant here from someone here you could be okay you, you might have taken a test and you're waiting on results okay mm, okay so you could be in a situation okay where you're with someone here you could be pregnant you take a test and you're waiting on results okay you find out you're pregnant and they they yeah they they don't want any part of it okay i'm sorry i hate to be the bearer of bad news but i read intuitively and i read honestly and authentically so if this and it doesn't mean that this will happen okay energy shifts and changes okay as we uh, people have their own free will okay so your person i could be picking up right now that they want nothing to do with it and then you could get results find out you're pregnant and they could unexpectedly be extremely happy you you know energy shifts and changes so so quickly so this could also be um okay i'm just picking up here it could also be them just being nervous about it okay yeah so it could be it could be uh, it could be exactly what i just said here that right now they're in the energy of i don't want this okay oh my gosh i can't believe this is happening i don't want this okay but then you get results and they feel great about it okay um, but I also was picking up very strongly here that this whoever so for some of you that could be the situation here and for others this could be your person is in a third party relationship here and you're waiting on 
some sort of information or news okay regarding that situation so they could have say they're married or in a relationship here they could have they could be waiting on their lease to expire so they can move out or they could be waiting on a divorce to finalize or a separation agreement to be reached or something of that nature and you're watching and listening carefully to everything that's happening around them so you can come together okay who a lot of information coming through today on this this is for i feel multiple i don't feel like this 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 situation is connected however it could be which is yeah that would make sense right hmm. i mean it could be okay you, you could be with someone you could have you know had sexy time or special time or whatever with someone here um, that was with someone else okay again take what resonates leave the rest behind I can't stress that enough um, because not all things will resonate for all of you but I am picking up that that could be the case as well yeah you could have maybe been with someone that was with someone else here and now you're telling them yeah, I might be pregnant here okay and they're freaking out okay that's what this tower is about they're freaking out because they're with someone else or they're still connected to someone else here okay and then you get results and it kind of um it it makes it, it like lights some lights a switch flips a switch okay like a light turns on for them okay and then they decide it almost like propels them into making this choice to move past a past situation to leave the past behind and move forward because they really i feel here really love you you're in your empress energy they're unconditionally loving you here you're unconditionally loving them so you're loving them even though they're connected to someone else but then this could happen here with this pregnancy again not all of you some of you may be men watching obviously you're not pregnant but the person that you're connected to maybe and you could be the one getting this news and kind of freaking out or you know so always keep in mind that the energy could flip-flop as well here but yeah that's what i'm picking up here what's next in love here for crystal number three please why the page of swords why the page of swords here a lot of information coming through here for you crystal number three so yeah hmm Let's see, I do feel like you love me. Yeah, Queen of Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so they're feeling like you very um you're stable. Okay. Um they're looking at you or you're looking at them here. Yeah, you're you know that this this person is stable um financially here and that this wouldn't be a issue if this is the case here, okay um knight of swords wanting to move forward yeah just wanting to um i feel like this is the energy you know when that light bulb comes on here okay in your person or in you if you're the one who is receiving this type of uh news or, or something information here i feel like it's like wanting to like the light bulb comes on and you just decide like you're like yeah you know let's just go for it here um we got this you know we're stable okay all right so yeah i mean again it could be different for some of you here but this is what i'm picking up here um and again it might not be about pregnancy it could just be about a relationship here um falling apart here and one person is waiting on information to um become final for a situation to become final or something all right why the empress here why the empress energy out why is the empress energy out here please Ooh. wow okay yeah the lover is beautiful okay yeah so um you know this is about deep unconditional love as well here um you're following your heart you're you yeah you just you really know that this is your person i feel okay and i feel like whoever is involved here as well 
even though they have some sort of an anxiety here about a situation um i feel like once the tower falls and that crumbles apart that you know things can progress yeah like things can move forward here okay why do we have the tower here please let's see why do we have the tower why do we have the tower there we go we have the high priestess and the wheel yeah look at that okay let me just put this deck back we have it doesn't want to go back so i guess it won't go back <laughs> okay so we have the wheel and the high priestess okay so intuitively you've known all along here that this is um a connection that you want to um explore okay you know intuitively that it's right for you here okay and this is why these big changes um that happen aren't necessarily a bad thing okay it's to uh, you know things have to end here in order for new things to come in and then we have the wheel of fortune which is also about divine intervention okay and i feel like the divine here is stepping in at some point here and really um yeah helping the situation to come to finality um in in order to open up like i like i said that light bulb for for it's like the it's like the divine is turning on the light for you <laughs> or for one of you okay it's like the universe is saying hey wake up to this okay um wake up smell the coffee um look what's in front of you okay I feel like this person could be in a situation, whoever this person is here, that something has to fall apart. I am feeling here very strongly that this person is in a situation that they are not happy in, okay? Um, and they know intuitively as well that you are their person and they're wanting to get to you. They may have, again, if this does involve a pregnancy, they may have a little anxiety about that part of it, okay? Um, but otherwise, they do know because once they, you know, even if it is about a pregnancy, once they find out, they like, it's like that switch comes on and it's like, this is my path. They know at that point, you know, it's like the divine um, is waking them up to that fact. Okay. Um, and if this isn't about a pregnancy, if this is just about, you know, a, a relationship breaking apart for them, um, I am feeling like whoever that is there is in a situation where they're not very happy, okay, um, and that they're really just needing that extra spark, okay, that extra push almost from, you know, the universe here to kind of push them in the direction they need to go. Okay, let's get more here for crystal number three. Yeah, so there could be a little bit of um, time here that needs to, uh, you know, go by here for situations to resolve or um, something like that here. I do feel one of you is definitely paying close attention to the other here. Um, could be vice versa as well. I mean, in both ways. In other words, they're paying close attention to what's going on with you as you are also paying close attention to what is going on in this situation with them if it's a relationship a marriage a whatever coming to an end here almost like wanting to know um the step that they're on so to speak um like the progress okay let's see what else crystal number three please for crystal number three, what else, please? What's next in love? Beauty of age, yeah, see? Yeah, they think you're beautiful here, your person. Um, and I feel like you feel the same. You're very attracted to one another here. This could have been a long um, ongoing connection here, okay? It could have been even a long friendship, okay? That has now um, blossomed into romantic feelings here okay let's see what else please crystal number three yeah this very well could be someone who you have known a long time and that you were friends with because they were with someone else or you were with someone else again could be flip-flopped take it as it resonates here but i do feel like with this um with this card here it's saying that this could have been a long connection 
um, a, a long friendship here that has blossomed into something more, okay? We have this pretty card here, and he is the guardian, yeah. So universal protection here, I feel. Um, what's going on? This tower moment here, all for your highest good, okay? Sometimes when bad things happen, we don't think that that's the case, but I feel here with the situation, if something is falling apart, it's because, you know, there was a need for change, okay? Let's see what else, please, for crystal number three. Ooh. Acceptance is the key. Yeah, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay, so this is just saying here, don't rush it. Okay, you can have your eye on things, and you can, um, you know, really pay attention and want to know what's going on. But don't force a situation, okay? So in other words, just don't, um, yeah, try not to take control of it, okay? Or let it take control of you, I just heard. Don't let it control your every thought, your every emotion, okay? It will work itself out here. What else, please, for crystal number three? Have faith in the divine here, okay? Have faith in your path. What else, please? Crystal number three. What's next in love for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? Honor your feelings. Yeah, if you need to cry or, you know, you're upset about, you know, any particular, you know, situation within this situation be okay with letting your feelings out speaking to this person okay honoring yourself honoring how you feel about things okay you know anyone who's meant for you will not um you know judge you for that okay so yeah just be open and honest with your feelings here okay let's see what else please crystal number three so if you're the person here with the anxiety over a situation in this connection, speak honestly to your partner about it. You know, like I'm really worried because I'm still connected to this person or, you know, I'm really worried because you haven't, you know, moved out of that situation you're in, whatever it is, a relationship, a marriage, whatever. Okay. So, um, both sides of the fence here should, um, you know, absolutely honor your own feelings here and speak about it and cry if you need to, um, you know, let it out. We have to feel it to heal it, you know? Um, so a little bit of healing, um, those past wounds here. Okay you know, fear of being alone or abandonment or something of that nature here. Okay, let's see what else, please. Crystal number three. What's next in love for crystal number three? And I also feel like um, this with this person, I do feel like this is a very strong connection here and that they, they're they not judgmental of you um, in that way, okay? So you can be open and honest. I feel like you know that as well with this situation. So um, like you know when you're with this person that you can just be your authentic self and not have to um, worry about things so much, I feel. You know, like worrying about um, not being your authentic self or something of that nature. Okay, we got two out here. We have Scarab Beetle Spirit Magic works through you. And then we have the Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless. Yeah, like this is a very powerful, loving connection here, okay? And I feel, again, like with this divine intervention, it's like one of those meant-to-be type of feelings, okay? Um, like the divine has your back and they're, you know really on your side here and making sure that you both are aware of this connection and how strong it is and yeah you're gonna feel like miraculous things are happening here okay beautiful what else please for crystal number three actually i have room over here let me put these down here there we go oops 
Yeah, it's only one. Okay. There we go. What else, please, for crystal number... Did I say one? Let me clear the cards again. What do we have for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? Reaching your destination. <laughs> There's that light that I was talking about. Your light is shining brightly. Yeah, someone's light bulb is definitely turning on here, okay? Um, again, I feel like they could be in a place of darkness right now. I was picking up um, someone not being happy in a current situation here. So this is the light bulb going on for them that, you know, even if this is about a pregnancy and they're afraid at this moment, when that light bulb comes on, it's like they realize, why am I so afraid? This is the person I love. This is the person I want to be with. I just need to get through this situation and get to them. Okay. That's how I'm feeling, um, you know, with this light bulb coming on. It's almost like an epiphany moment. Okay. For your person or you. Again, I keep getting that. So for some of you um, watching, I feel like this could be you or your person. And again, it's pretty much always that way when you're watching. If you're feeling like this is uh, relevant to your person, then, you know, it is. Whatever resonates for you, okay? So let's see what else, please, for crystal number three. This energy does shift and change, and it could be um, vice versa here as well. So let's see what else, please, for crystal number three. What's next in love, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? Woo, beautiful happiness. Oh, I love this card. I love this card. So pretty with the dolphins. Yeah, so happiness is on the way, okay? Happiness is on the way. There could be some, you know, little challenges here and little um, hiccups, uh, slowness, okay? It could take some time, okay? But, I mean, this is spirit saying, whoa, look at this, wish upon a star. It won't fall out, but there it is. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is Spirit saying that this is going to lead to your happiness here. You just have to be patient with it, okay? Wish upon a star, yeah. Keep your wishes and your hopes alive here, okay, for whatever this connection can be. It does look like it will be an extremely happy situation here, okay? And Oh, I mean, always remember, no relationship is perfect or happy all the time, you know, but... Of course, um, happiness. Oh, look at this. Truth. Yeah, this is your truth, okay? Following this path is going to lead you, um, you'll feel here, like you're being your authentic self. You're able to live in authenticity with this person. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy here. Let's get more. All right, what else for crystal number three, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? Beautiful butterfly here I'm noticing as well. Big transformation, okay. And then there's a castle in the bubble here. I'm just noticing here. Um, and this to me is like, this is that tower moment, okay. And it's like residing up here in this bubble. And then poof, something pops it, okay. And the light comes on. And yeah, you know. And then everything is able to fall together, okay. And again, I do feel like um, there is some divine intervention going on here as well, okay? Um, with that wheel card there. And I feel like you've known all, look at this, make the effort. Yeah, this is, your person is making the effort here to release themselves from whatever situation they're in. Yeah, and you, you're making a lot of effort in this connection as well here, okay? You are definitely, again, I felt paying attention, very, very um, focused, okay, on making this work, making this move forward here. Um, yeah, beautiful. Ooh. Okay, we have paradise, beautiful, and coffin. And what else, what else is this? I'm trying to get them all apart with one hand. It's not working. Heart with a card, coffin. So we have paradise, coffin, heart with a key. Okay, so happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yes, definitely. I feel like this is going to be a very happy connection once it comes together here. 
okay once some obstacles are overcome there we have the happiness out here as well endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation transition okay this is reiteration here we have the tower out as well bad things um happen or we we perceive them as bad in the moment okay sometimes things happen that we need to happen in order to transition um things need to end before new things can begin right okay so there's another confirmation of that and then heart with a key heart with a i want to keep wanting to say card heart with a key <laughs> welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together and perfect okay so this card is saying to me here just keep your heart open okay to your person that you intuitively know loves you very much here okay keep your heart open keep i i picked up earlier a need for patience okay i know that hasn't come out yet but i did pick that up pretty strongly earlier so just be a little patient with the situation um and i feel like it's progressing okay things are happening things are moving and you will be getting together here or being able to come together here let's see what else for crystal number three crystal number three look at the bigger picture yep yeah, look at the bigger picture okay yeah just focus on that future okay instead of um tying up your your energy here with you know what could be what could go wrong okay this is spirit saying here just focus on that bigger picture and the um like your dream in your mind here okay focus on that instead and try to remain positive through it okay what else please for crystal number three what's next in love for crystal number three what's next in love for crystal number three? divine timing yeah i picked up on that earlier okay so yeah there it is okay the divine is helping out here um with this situation um i feel definitely giving that push that we need here to move forward okay let's get more definitely like turning on that light switch here the divine is stepping in helping people realize things see things oh wow look at this three of them came out doubt look at this wow Whew. yeah i can't make this stuff up right <laughs> holy cow spirit doubt patience and divine timing okay i feel again with this paying close attention you you may have been doubting that they're doing things but i feel that spirit was saying here making you um, realize here that they are making that effort okay so release those doubts and negativity and try to remain positive also that need for patience that i just mentioned hadn't come out and spirit gave it to me thank you um but yes here it is and then divine timing once again this is triple confirmation from spirit here divine timing is at play let things unfold naturally okay everything will work out just let things flow naturally okay it will all work out in the end i just heard okay so yeah it'll all work out in the end remain patient release those doubts okay wow beautiful beautiful messages from spirit today for you crystal number three let's see what else please what's next in love for crystal number three what's next in love for crystal number three yeah so i i just heard this could even be a person that they're connected to here could even leave them unexpectedly so yeah they or sooner sooner than they think okay so they could be going through a situation where they've maybe um asked you know maybe told their spouse they want a divorce and but then never did anything about it or they could be in a situation where they keep saying they're going to leave this relationship they keep threatening this person that they're with like i'm leaving i need to get out of here or something of that nature here but then they don't specifically do it or they don't do it as soon as the other person then just decides i'm out and they walk away and that could be why it's kind of a sudden um i just yeah weird it just came to me just now here with that tower 
Yep. So this person could um, also, I feel like they are making the effort though, for sure. I do feel like they're doing things. Um, it, it, you know, it might not be the actual final step that they're taking, but they are taking steps towards resolving that situation. So I feel like this is a situation here. If what I just heard is your situation here with a person um, that you're interested in is connected to someone else and their person, the person that they're currently with, does walk away from them, I feel like this here is saying like, again, it was almost like they took that step, they made that affirmation, like they said it out loud, like, I don't want to be with you anymore, or I want a divorce, or I want to move out, or something of that nature. But before they even had the chance, the other person bails, okay? So again, take what resonates. This could resonate only for a specific couple, maybe, of you out there, or maybe all of you. I do not know, but this is what's coming through. So we have, what else? We have transformation and willingness. Yeah, see? Big transformation happening here in this connection, okay? In a past situation, um, falling apart here in a new situation, able to come to fruition, okay? And also willingness, okay? Your person here is extremely willing to do the work necessary, is what I'm hearing here, okay? Extremely willing to take the steps necessary to resolve that situation, okay? So... Let's see what else, please, for crystal number three. What's next in love for crystal number three, please? What's next in love? Woo. Your beliefs are right for you. See? So what you're believing is right for you. Your intuitive knowing here. You know, this is another message from Spirit saying, follow your gut, okay? Always follow your own intuition. If this is right for you, you will know it, okay? All right, let's get some love messages out here for crystal number three. What's next in love, please, for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three? Whoa, here we go. Romance. Oh, nice. So you're going to have a little romance here with your person. Okay. Maybe a romantic dinner. You could come together maybe to have a conversation or even this could be, um, you know, once this situation falls apart and you are physically together in the 3D here in the, um, on the earth planes here. Okay. Um, yeah, this could be, um, a night out together. Okay. Experiencing a romantic dinner or just dancing or, you know, cause they're dancing here in this card. Um, you know, just something, you know, romantic. It could be a small romantic gesture as well. It doesn't have to be anything grand, but I feel like you will have a feel romanced here by your person. Beautiful. And then we have love messages here, okay? So this deck is available for purchase if you're interested. It's in the description box below. We are going to now ask for it. What would Crystal number three's person like to say to them, please? What would they want to say? What's next in love? What would they like to say next here to their person? Crystal number three, what would they like to say to Crystal number three? What would they like to say to crystal number three? Just so you know, I just, it didn't come out, but the uh, You Are My Twin Flame card just um, flipped a little bit and then went back in. So for some of you here, I'm feeling the need to tell you it could be your fl twin flame that you are dealing with here in this situation. But again, take what resonates, only you will know that for sure, okay? They're lost without you. Um, it says, I am lost without you here. So your person, um, I feel... In the situation that they're in, like I said, um, I feel that they are not happy, okay? And they're really wanting to be with you here. But something here, um, I feel, again, I was feeling big third-party energy or another relationship or connection involved here, okay? So let's see what else here. Crystal number three, please. What would their person want to say? 
what would their person i miss you so much it hurts yeah again they're very much missing you here um lost without you feeling sadness that they're not able to be there right now let's get one more one or two whatever comes out is fine um what else please what would crystal number three's person want to say to them please what is crystal number Ooh, that one flew Hmm, beautiful. I want to be in physical harmonious union with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is one of the twin flame cards in this deck here. Um physical harmonious union with you. So they could be feeling um, you know, you could be interacting with each other here in the 5D here on the in the spiritual realms, okay? Um, but they're really wanting this connection to come to fruition in the physical world, okay? They're really wanting this to be solid um, stable connection here um, on earth here, okay? Um, let's see. I'm going to get one more. I, I'm being pulled to get one more here. Um, so yeah, again, this could be your twin flame. That card flipped. It, it, it sort of flipped, but it didn't come out, but I did see it. So I, I felt the need to mention it to some of you out there. Um, and now t I talk about you all the time. So this situation I feel is something that they're very passionate about. Okay. Um, they're very passionate about you as well. Um, they talk maybe to their friends here about, you know, I really have to, you know, do A, B, C, D because I really want to get to crystal number three. Okay. Um, yeah, I do feel like your person is in a, you know, kind of unhappy, sad situation and really just wanting to come forward to you here, but having that, um, that ending that has to take place first. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please remember to give it a like and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you all being here. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next reading.